All right, today I'm going to share an exercise that Lee Conant gave to me when I studied with him in New York. This is a great exercise, and I've gotten so much value from it over the years. Basically, it's singing and playing as a warm-up, or on a day when you can't think of something productive to work on. This is always my go-to, which is to sing a line and then play a line. And he used to say, start out simple, so maybe singing three notes, even just two notes to start, and then find those two notes on your instrument. So if I go, ba, 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 ba. Now, if I've gone, if I sing too long, I can't remember what I played, then you just start back with something simple again. Ba, ba, ba. So that's the basic exercise, and what I've found over the years of doing it is that you tend to sing uh, diatonic melodies, right? I'm singing, I sang some secondary dominance that led me into other key centers, but by and large I'm singing really simple uh, major scale melodies. Sometimes they'll be on the secondary dominant, there might be some tensions, and uh, over time, through doing it, you really get a sense of the difference between playing by hand, you know, playing things that are in muscle memory, and the difference between that and playing what you're audiating in your mind, what you're actually hearing. And it's a very subtle, at first a subtle difference, and eventually it becomes a very profound and obvious difference. And so you want to, in my opinion, cultivate the connection with your inner audiation, what you're actually hearing, and that connecting with that is going to give you your strongest ability to reflect yourself or to express yourself and it becomes more of an honest form of self-expression improvising and less about thought although you know you're thinking in sound it's not thinking in terms of muscle memory shapes in your hands or thinking of theory like thinking of arpeggiating a certain chord or a chord scale becomes very different from that and of course uh, knowing your theory and scales all that's extremely important as far as educating your mind's ear so that you can begin to audiate more complex sounds. But this exercise has been one of the best that I've learned over the years to help synthesize your thinking mind with your intuitive voice. All right, I hope you find that helpful. See you on the next one.